to start off, I took out the uh, air tube and the uh, air box on top. Disconnect whatever hoses um, that's connected to the uh, intake manifold, the one inside, that one. I have a two 10 millimeter bolts right here, this one, and that one in the back. You're gonna have to remove uh, this 13 millimeter right here to get you some uh, room to uh, move this bracket out of the way. Disconnect your connector. I'm gonna take out the 13 right here. Remove, remove the bracket. Now this side is the left side of the car. Um, remove your two connectors. Your 10 millimeter right here in the bracket. Another 10 right here. Remove your 13, this one, and also that 13, that one right there. Now, since this side is a little bit harder to get to the 13, um, so what I did was uh, I didn't take out the bolt completely, so I just moved the line out a little bit, give me some room to get my wrench in there, and loosen it enough till I can. Uh, get enough room for this bracket to move out of the uh, the stud so next I removed the uh, intake manifold bolts all of the bolts right here one two three four five six seven and just go ahead and remove it to the top for the bottom part of the manifold um, Disconnect all your injectors, pull the red uh, clip back and press on this, remove it, remove all your 8 uh, millimeter that's holding on to the uh, bottom part of the manifold. Pry out this clip right here, pry out this clip also, for both. For the fuel line, um, you're going to put a flathead behind there, pry it out. Try the blue clip out. It's kind of hard. So you gotta push in, push it in first, press on it. There you go. Checking the uh, bottom part of it out. There you go. Now, this whole part is the old filter housing. Uh, you can see that uh, not just coolant is leaking, also. Uh, oil engine oil is also leaking you can see that it's a lot so before i start working on the uh, filter housing i'm gonna cover up all the head holes um i don't want to drop anything inside you know i think there's five or six bolts that's holding on to the whole housing that's one two three that little one right there four five not the big one you don't want to take the big one out the little one is the one you want to take out. Uh, you can see I got my suction vacuum going on. So this is much faster. Instead of uh, putting towels trying to dry it up, this is much faster. give it a good check on the whole housing make sure there's no crack anywhere because this is plastic you know so uh, just give it a good check if it's cracked or anything you're gonna have to buy the whole thing here's the part number for the o-ring there's five of them here's all the new one they're all in and the one right here uh, you want to check all the connectors, make sure the pins are good, nothing's damaged, no uh, open wires and stuff like that, no cut, and it should be good. <laughs> you want to clean out all the surface where the o-ring sits, so that way uh, you don't get leak. The housing is back on, uh, make sure everything is tight, check the connectors again, the holes, tighten down all the uh, torch bolts clean out the heads right here at the surface, uh, put back your uh, bottom manifold.
Now I got the uh, bottom part of the manifold in. Tighten down all your uh, eight millimeters uh, for the fuel line. Make sure you press it in all the way. Make sure you hear the click and then uh, push the blue tab back to lock. Um, re reconnect all your injectors too. Make sure it clicks and uh, you press the uh, red tab down to uh, lock it. So I just got finished with the left side. Put all the bracket back. The uh, 13, the 10 right here. Uh, yeah, the 13 down there. Um, connect whatever you need to connect on this side. Don't forget the, uh, the two connectors right here. You disconnect right here. I'm on the right side. Reconnect your uh, PCV hose, your uh, vacuum hose, the one for throttle body, two connectors. Uh, this one's for the uh, air tube. And tighten down all your uh, manifold bolts. I tighten down the uh, bracket, two tens on the side, and the uh, 13 right there, the stud. I got the air tube back, reconnect the sensor, the PCV hose. Everything that's taken out, so just double check everything, everything's good, and we can be done.